find the gap? Like, do you just, I don't know, why are you looking for dumplings and you're like, I can't find any dumplings. How do you find that gap? So I, I, I love food. I love eating out. And then um, my, my dad is also running a few restaurants at that time. Okay. And then I was just searching for anything that missing on the market because my, my talent is finding what's the gap in the market and I gave supply because I think that's the basic understanding is the demand and supply. Yeah. So I found a, a missing gap like uh, my friends craving for good dumplings because I actually literally asked them if you want dumplings where are you gonna go to and then they were like I go to the supermarket I buy the frozen dumplings. Oh yeah and then make it yeah so i did initial experiment i did a test of concept by just setting dumplings online so i was delivering to like certain points say Stratford and then chinatown because i live in the east london so i got i told my clients go to Stratford like this day this time and i will give you dumplings you order that's how i started first then i received lots of orders and for the first chinese new year you know, Chinese New Year is some special festival that people have yeah. to eat dumplings. Yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't sleep for three days just making dumplings and then delivered the dumplings. Wow. And then the day I came back home, I didn't have like, I didn't enjoy the Chinese New Year. I was sleeping two days. Oh, wow. it's So yeah. that's that's why I got, I know like, yeah, people want dumplings and then there, there need to be more uh, like innovative way of doing dumplings, more flavors, more yeah. like good quality dumplings. Yeah, so this, I, this is one of my one of my major questions. Like you mm. said that you started this, you know, you started this restaurant, you opened, even opened up a clinic, which I didn't even know about. So it's like, how did you actually do all that and uni as well? Like, how did you find that balance? Mm. Can I say that I didn't win to lecture? I can't say that because it would be really bad <laughs> to, to um, talking to people. <laughs> you no, know, like I think you see, like university lecture, they all. They, they don't have like a full day lecture. They always like either the morning session or the afternoon session. Yeah. And uh, you just you just do the work in between. Because for clinic, I also, and then there's also like three holidays per year. And then there's also reading weeks. Yeah. So I will, I will, I, I actually start all this when I having like the free time in the holiday time in the reading week. And then when there's a like exams week or exam months that I'll, I would like contribute to just doing the exam because I want to pass the exam, I want to get a degree. Mm-hmm. And then during this time, I will handle my work to my business partner. So always get someone to do the work with you, business partner. Yeah. Someone you can trust, even just one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, yeah. And then, uh, so I kind of split, split in this business like model into something that fits into daily life. You, like you cannot do something that doesn't fit your daily life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's yeah. Cool. Well, more specifically, like the restaurant, how did you even fund it? Like to begin with, did you have like any external help or did you save up? Like, so how, how did you fund it actually? So, uh, because the um, the the food food market is really small, mm-hmm. uh, it's like 20 15 square meter, I kind of use them like I use like 40,000 40, pounds. Okay. I got this money from my my parents. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But we 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 um we repaid. I repaid those all money like pretty quickly in the first uh, eight months. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's not it's not really big investment. It's something that we can afford it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. Mm. So if I can't afford it, I wouldn't go for it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put lots of money into it. So yeah, when no. you, you know, when you had the idea, you're like, okay, you know what? I found this niche, I found this guy. Like, how did you even get the motivation to start? Because I feel like, at least from a conversation I've had with a lot of people, like the most important part is actually mm-hmm. starting. Like, how do you overcome those fears of, okay, I'm going to fail or, or like the, just the initial starting, like the push to start. So how do you even overcome that? thing is that I always know what I wanted is I've been thinking of what I want to do when I was really young so it's either working in big investment banking company yeah. or, or, or do whatever like my mom was a banker so 
and then she always want me to do a fi- finance, uh, finance stuff or I write accountings and then um, my I, w- I always searching for my own passion like I think my own passion is to build a business like something that I can take control of yeah I'm not the person that listens to someone else like I have to listen but I don't want to work for someone and I don't get used to that like I don't listen to my parents like I yeah and um I know that I don't want to get up like eight o'clock every single day and then go to work and then finish at six. It yeah. just, it just, it just too tight, like too fixed lifestyle that I don't want. I want to be uh, free, like by also having some sort of business of my own. Any so specific that's... advice for anybody that's kind of in this boat of, oh, you know, I want to start like, not necessarily, maybe not a restaurant or not a clinic, but I just want to start something that's like physical in a sense that let's say, a coffee shop or i want to start um i don't know like clothing like a clothing brand like a store or something like that like what kind of advice would you give that kind of person um i think because i met lots of people like that in, in my life that want to do their own business but they also having a full-time job like last time i was gonna buy a mercedes car so i went to the shop and then there's this uh, the sales lady we're just talking and then she just mentioned about her waffle brand and she's she's doing full-time job at home but she also doing this waffle shop online like selling the waffles and then yeah. she just doesn't know how to balance it she if she wants to quit her job and then she's um want to uh just do a full-time like waffle so i just i i literally i came in from a, a perspective that how this how, what, what kind of lifestyle do you want it do you want to have a baby you want to have a uh, husband you want to have a full family and then you have to have a steady income sources so you have to think about that because doing a business there's 50 percent they're gonna fail and then maybe you have a bank loan maybe you just wasted all the money from your saving so if if you at your early stage of 20s i think i think if you don't have a financial burden from wherever homes or from the parents or from the bank maybe just try it if if you have lots of burdens at the side, maybe look at the reality. Like many of my friends said, hey Eva, I want to do a whatever brand with you. I want to do a bubble tea shop. I want to open a coffee shop. I I was like, yeah, but why? And then the first answer I got, it seems really easy because it, it doesn't take lots of time. I got a free lifestyle, but I was like, wait a second, that's not true because doing business is really <laughs> time consuming. I think, they don't have the like the, the real like whatever um they, they don't know how it feels like to work in hospitality they just thought is a, a better job than what they're actually doing now but when they're actually doing it they find out it's not it's not better it's, it's worse maybe so they have to try first to calculate everything sitting down write a business plan before yeah. they're actually doing it so they have to plan thoroughly maybe they will feel in the middle way like i that's not what I, something i want to do because mm-hmm. I told my friend she wanted to open the bubble tea shop. I said, maybe do a business plan for me, and then we can work on this together. And then yesterday she told me I'm I, I I'm in the middle of the plan. I don't want to do it anymore. It's just too much. And then she just wow. feels she went to another area. So like plan it thoroughly before you do it. Then you know if you really want to do it or not. Don't just dig into it. Like people can have many thoughts. I want I have many thoughts, but I didn't the I didn't like do any of. The, I didn't do like everything. I just pick one or two, stick onto it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so what you said is hundred percent. So like research, like do your research. You know, like actually, you know, knowing what you're getting yourself into because, like you said, right, business starting anything is not easy. It's time consuming. Mm-hmm. It's not as stable as a full time job. So like, yeah, that that's that hundred percent makes no sense.